Howdy there, parties. It's Cowboy Lallon here, and uh, we were gonna mosey on down and try the uh, Red Dead online beta, but as you can see, coming soon. Well, how soon? When? Because I'm confused. I mean, and I think there's a lot of other people out there that are just as confused as me. Let's take a look to see what the official uh, the official Rockstar explanation of access to this beta is as following. Tuesday, November 27th. That's, uh, well, that was yesterday. Uh, all Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultimate Edition owners uh, will get access to the beta. Uh, Wednesday, November 28th. That's today. All players who played Red Dead Redemption on the 26th of October... Uh, yep, I played it on the 26th of October, and here I am, facing the, uh, the new dreaded coming soon. So, okay, we're not doing Red Dead Online. We're not. It's just not happening for us. That's really annoying. So, we're just going to have to uh, go to story mode. We're just going to have to continue our story mode. And um, I'm going to tell you... A little story while we're loading here. Okay, um, I'm trying to get myself... One second. First of all, if you hear a funny noise, it's because one of my cats is being a little bit tricky today. Come on. She really wants to be part of the fun. And so she's chewing on my microphone stand, aren't you? Who? You're chewing on my microphone stand. Yes, silly cat. Um, so I am trying to get myself one of the fastest horses in the game, which is... Uh, the the white something or rather uh, I've completely forgotten the name of it. Um, let's have a quick search here. Look, Red Dead horses. What are you called? It's called the White Arabian. That's it. The White Arabian. So I was trying to get the White Arabian, and here is the lowdown. Here's what went down. Uh, when I came into the area, I saw it straight away. I just saw it. It was just there. And it's like, wow, okay, this is good. This is very good. Um, but could I, for the life of me, actually tame the damn thing? No, no, I couldn't. No, because I tell you why. Because I, I just I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, that's the truth of it. I, I've tamed one single horse in the game, which is the one I'm riding right now, and um, that was pretty easy. I jumped on. Uh, it said to twiggle your sticks. I twiddled my sticks, as you do. Oh, hello. And um, after twiddling my sticks for a little while, uh, something magic happened. I gained a horse. So I thought, well, this should be pretty straightforward, really. I should be able to do this with the uh, White Arabian. No. No amount of... Uh, Stick twiddling, uh, good wishes, happy thoughts, or anything like that at all would help me get this horse. And so what would happen is it would buck me off, and then I would have to uh, go back to the process of, first of all, chasing the horse down. That's always fun, having to chase a horse. Um, and I must have been doing this for about half an hour, until I get to the point where this horse ran off the edge of a cliff and killed itself. Now, I don't know whether or not the horse is going to respawn so I thought, you know what? F it F it, F it, F it reload from a previous save so I reload from a previous save came back to the area and it was there again great, okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant let's try and get it exact same thing, kept getting bucked and then I lost it there was a huge snowstorm came in, just my luck and it ran off and I have no idea where it is and I, I can't seem to get it to respawn again after this so um a little bit annoyed because i came all the way up here specifically for this bad boy this let me show you on the map where we are i'm over here at lake isabel now it usually spawns over here let's put a, a marker down there and we're going to have a look at this um let's have a look to see what challenges and stuff we've got here i haven't got any white challenges uh, just for your info just in case you're you're new to the game you're not sure um, yellow tasks uh, push the uh, the story forward, and white tasks are generally kind of like time time sensitive. So you generally want to do those when they pop up. For example, this one here, 
I want to do that one pretty soon. Um, Margaret Zebra should be around here somewhere. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And we've got one down here as well. Boop, 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 boop. Black Bell. Uh, so, you know, they're not always time sensitive. I'm looking at these. Do you know what these ones are? These are just like side quests. So they're not they're not major quests. Um, I think if they're if they're in these bubbles here like that, they usually means they're stranger quests. If they're much smaller like this, oh, I don't know. You know, what I'm talking out. I am talking out of my bum. I think I think I'm just saying this. I think if it's just a white circle like that without any misty stuff going on around the sides, then it is time sensitive. Haven't quite figured that out. Uh, I haven't really got anything uh, there at the moment. This is interesting. What is this, Fort Wallace? What's going on here? Who knows? Who knows? Look, I'm I'm in it. I'm up here. I spent a long time getting up here. I'm here to get the white Arabian. And uh, I'm going to try my best. And if I can't, I'm just going to see if I can hunt this uh, wild animal, which is over here. In fact, look, here we go. This looks like a good starting point for this. Oh, look, we've got a friend over there. So, right, what have we got here? Oh, it's right behind me. I'm using my eagle eye. I think it's called eagle eye. I didn't really pay much attention. It's probably my my main issue with this game. <laughs> Not paying attention to the rules and the instructions. Right, so. We have... Ah, there we go. We've got the trail. Let's start tracking. There we go. It's kind of difficult to see in the snow, but you can just about see the uh, the white path flashing. Oh, there we go. This thing up here. Usually, if you if you lose your path, you just have to look around yourself and find the next uh, item that's going to point you in the right direction. We got here some dung, some bison poo. Nice. Now, can I walk through that? I can't walk through it. It's, it's a solid object. Look at that. That is one hell of a poo. One hell of a poo. As they say. As I say. I just said it. It's one hell of a poo. Oh, careful there. Right over here. Next thing. Broken sticks. Okay. Yeah. Nothing but a legendary bison could have broken sticks in that configuration. Alright, we're going over here. Is that the legendary... Is that it? This is it. The legendary bison. Let's get our shotgun. Oh, it's running. We got it. We got it. We got two clean shots off right there. Oh, it's still alive. Let's put it out of his misery. I think killing it's not really going to make a main difference to the, uh, the the condition of its uh, pelt. Yes, please. I remember this being a problem with GTA as well. The uh, the save issue there. But here, here we go. Legendary white bison. We're going to skin this bad boy. Dirty job, but someone's gonna do it. And <laughs> I'm gonna do it, man. That's it. Nice. Oh dear, that's a sorry sight to see, isn't it? Look at this, look. Oh. You know, sometimes this game's pretty hard to play. Coming from a, a pacifist. I'm not really a pacifist. But it's, it's still kind of a, sometimes a little bit hard to play. Just a little bit. Right, okay, we're going to start. It's it's really close to the uh, okay, to the edge. Girl. It's too real, yeah. if you know what I mean. Okay, look, we're... 
should we come round? I just need to... Oh, legendary fish as well. I have no idea to get these fish yet. I still haven't figured that out. Uh, I'm going to look on the map. Give me one second there, my friends. I'm going to come back round here. Ah, there we go. Legendary fish. Got a little crown on it. That one we've, we've got. We killed it. Look. And what's this here? What is that? Corpses. Ooh. Nice. Um, we're going to come around here. We're gonna we're gonna give this one one last good stab. See if the uh, the horse will show up, and then if it fails, we're just gonna we're gonna head back and we're gonna we're gonna sell our pelts. We've got some nice pelts. I love the snow in this game. This is just amazing. This landscape. Uh, so earlier on. Um, when I was playing yesterday, uh, I hit a snowstorm. I mentioned that, and it was amazing. It really was quite amazing. You actually felt the cold. It, w it was just so cool. Uh, when you start the game, you, you 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 know you start off in a big snowstorm, but this is the first time where it, the dynamic weather system threw it at me, and it's so impressive. It's so goddamn impressive. Seriously, the guys at Rockstar have done such a good job. <coughs> I think sometimes it's just the, the level of details that Rockstar go to. Beth Star, who uh, recently brought out the uh, Fallout, is it Fallout 76? I can't even remember the, the number of it yet. Um, they, they need to pay attention. It's not the... It, it doesn't have to be the quality of your game sometimes. It can just be the level of detail and attention that's been put into the game. I mean, there's a lot about this game that I don't like. I, have, I think the menu system is frigging awful. Absolutely awful. Some of the controls are really, really fiddly. It's frustrating for me. It really is. Because it's just so many different buttons and stuff. And I'm, I'm fine. Maybe it's just my age. I don't know. But I'm just, I'm finding it really hard with modern games to, to get used to so many bloody buttons. And sometimes, you know, like one button... Does one thing one time and then a different thing the next. It's really annoying. Right, how do I go to Dead Eye? Come on. Here we go. Great example. Wanna go to Dead Eye? Can't go to Dead Eye. Lost me horse. Almost me pelt. Come on, come on. Come on. Please don't lose my pelt. How do I calm a horse? Oh god, I can hear something. And it sounds not very nice. It sounds like a, a dog in a lot of pain. I think I need to go and put one of these dogs down. Oh god, this is awful. I hate this bit. I really do. Rockstar, I hate you for this. I really do. This is just... <sighs> I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Ugh. But you know what? You know, it's just a game. You have to keep reminding yourself, it's just a game. It's just a game. It's just that they make it so goddamn realistic, man. They make it so realistic and it's horrible. It's really horrible. Right, let's go and put these on the back of my horse. Uh, so, it looks like the weather is getting a little bit, a little bit ropey. I can't see the uh, the horse here. I'm just going to skin the rest of these, and then I think we're just going to we're going to bugger off. We're going to head there, head back, get these these pelts sold. And I'll just have to come back here at a later date, see if I can get this horse. It's just annoying because, you know, it was right there. I literally was on it. I was riding the damn thing. Uh, but I just... Uh, just lost it. And now it's gone. It's really frustrating.
but yeah, so uh, just to continue what I was uh, saying about the oh, rotten grey wolf. Yeah, I don't want a pelt from a rotten wolf. I don't want that. It's just not very nice at all. I find it more and more difficult now to kind of like get used to games with lots of controls and things. So um, when I started playing The Witcher 3, I hated The Witcher 3. This is a game that threw you in so deep that it just didn't bother explaining anything. It had a, a, a small smithereen uh, section at the beginning of the game, this tiny little section where it pretended that it was kind of a, a hey, this is how you play the game type section, but it just it wasn't. It didn't do that in any sense of the word. It was just, it was brutally honest it was bloody awful um right i need to get down here where are you my little friend i need to go right over here and it's going to take me forever unless i take some trains so i'm gonna to have to get here so i need to find a train station that's close by and i think the closest one is all the way down here is this a station i don't think it is wow 295 pound bounty i'm not going anywhere near there um Where's the nearest station then? Where is the nearest station? Valentine? Surely not. Surely, surely not. Where's my train stations? These must be stations, right? I, well, I mean, I've got a train up here. Surely, surely, surely I've got a train... post office i think post office is class as stations as well i think that's what it is again the game doesn't explain that so we're gonna try coming through here i tell you what i'm gonna do i am going to i'm gonna be a little bit cautious i've just got myself a nice big bear pelt bear pelt it's not bear pelt it's a bison pelt uh, we're gonna save 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 Always save your games. Always. And we're going to get the hell out of here. So I was playing The Witcher and I absolutely hated it for the first, uh, easily the first 30 to 60 hours. I hated it. I hated the, the controls. I hated the fighting. I hated it, hated it, hated it. Because I just couldn't get my head around the controls. I couldn't figure out how to do anything. Nothing seemed to work. No matter what I was doing, I seemed to get it my my ass handed to me all the time in battles. I uh, I couldn't figure out how how to do with the magic and the, the potion making and everything just frustrated me. And then something happened. I just started to get a feel for things. I started to realise how things worked. And after I'd got over the whole controller issues, suddenly it. You know, I had this this wonderful game in front of me, and I began to appreciate it for the game itself, rather than for, for something with orc controls. And this is how I'm. This is how I'm feeling about this game at the moment. It's just the controls are so so tricky. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's people out there right now thinking, ah, controls are easy. Don't be talking about. It. You're crazy. You're crazy, Lone. You're crazy. Look, I'm an old man now, okay? I'm I'm getting on in years. I'm not a, a spring chicken anymore. Um, and maybe it's my, my riddled old brain. I don't know. Maybe it's just... Uh, maybe it is because games are just getting more complex and I'm more used to more simpler controls. Let's face it, I started out playing on, you know, games like... Uh, Ataris and stuff like that that had like a, a one button on the controller one button That's all you had to press. You know how hard it was to learn the instructions for the games. It was pretty easy Press that button if that button didn't do anything just move the stick. That was it so one way or another things are getting more complex and uh, I'm I'm finding it, it takes a lot longer for me to get into games because of these issues. Uh, just a note, I have to be very careful because I do have a very large bounty on my head in here and I need to watch out for the Lorman. 
for those sneaky large people to want to get me, I gotta keep my eye open. Get a bigger map up. Check it out. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that it's, you know, eventually this game is just gonna click for me, just fall into place. Like a little jigsaw puzzle piece that's uh, missing. Uh, I mean, you know, I am enjoying it and I really want to spend more time on it. I really do. Um, hell, you know, some of us need to work. Some of us need to work for a living. Some of us can't just sit at home all day long playing video games. Some of us have to go out and earn ourselves a crust. And I'm one of those suckers. So I don't get huge amounts of time. Just a few hours in the evening. So, uh... That's enough for me at the moment. It's, it's all I can, it's all I can do. But I, uh, you know, I want to, uh, I want to, I want to play it more. I want to get get into it. I'm doing the best I can, uh, and I just hope that I, I get used to these controls, it's, especially the the gunplay. That's what I'm really finding difficult at the moment. Uh, just shooting and stuff. What? 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 No, no way you want to do is shouting at me. I don't know why. Oh, there's gunshots here. That rabbit. Right, okay, here we go. And then this guy down here, we're going to pick one more. Any other people there? Did I get them all? I think this guy in here is an old Driscoll. I'm not sure if I should let him out. Okay, you're going to tell the law about me? Nah, I'm going to leave you in there. i tell you what I will do though. I ain't going to loot these guys. What do I do? Do I let the guy out? I don't know. This is one of those interesting scenarios where I'm not quite sure if letting them out is a good idea. There's some horses over here as well. No, come on. Calm him down, calm him down. There we go, there we go. Calm down, calm down. And then we're going to go to the saddlebag and hopefully he's not going to kick me in the stomach. What do you got? I have no idea. I don't think I've got anything from there. Let's try these horses here. Calm it okay. down. I've made the mistake before of just going straight for the, the saddlebag and you get a, a good old kick for it. So. Oh, there you go. Nice bit of money there. Wind's going to go for it. Oh, flipping hell. Oh, there we go. See, I went for it. It didn't work. Didn't work. Got a kick. I've actually died from there, which is really annoying. I want my hat back. God damn it. Right, okay, I think I've got one more body to loot, and then after that I've got, a, I've got a terrible choice to make. Do I let the guy out? Do I let him go? I don't know. I think I'm going to let him out. Oh, 
Well, we can't let witnesses. We can't leave witnesses. Can't leave any witnesses. Right, come on. Oh, I can't leave any witnesses. Can't leave any witnesses. I'm state property. Can't leave any witnesses. <laughs> oh dear, what have I done? Oh dear, this has turned out really badly for me. I've made some terrible life choices. Oh dear. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm going the wrong way. Where am I supposed to be? Over here. Let's just get on the train and get the hell out of here, yeah? I feel really awful. I just shot two innocent people and a load of old Driscolls. No one cares about old Driscolls. Come on, this is get on the train and get out of here. Hello there, pleased to see you. Can I get a train ticket? Apparently I can't get a train ticket when I'm wanted. So long. We're just gonna have to wait for that wanted level to go down, aren't we? Oh, hello again. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll still we'll train some clothes. That might help. That's my hat. Where's my items? Where's my clothes? Where the hell? Ah, there we go. Summer. Summer gunslinger. Looking good. You just left. You all right? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the bloody train. I want to get a train ticket and get the hell out of here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Lovely weather. There's nothing oh. like it. Hello again. Okay. Come on. There we go. Now we can get out of here. Uh, pay bounty. I don't think I can afford to pay my bounties. We're just going to train to get. Oh, good point. Where am I going? I don't know. Closest uh, Emerald Station. Train ticket, please, to Emerald Station. Or oh, Emerald Ranch, yeah, that would do. Trip. And hopefully my horse will come with me. Beautiful sky music. It's so beautiful in the sky. Now arriving at Emerald Ranch. Please mind the gap. Right, where's my goddamn horse? If you would give me a minute, please. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And everything's still there, just where I left it. And here, I'm not a wanted man. And nobody knows about my horrible killing spree that I did just a short while ago. So, to continue, what we got here? This is really close by. 
Albert Mason. Oh, the photographer. The photographer. We'll deal with him in a little bit. We're going to go and get the uh, the trapper up here. We're going to sell our wares. Yes, sir. Here we go. Well, we would if this goddamn train was not in my way. So now we're going to have to go round, man. We're going round. Thank you, Mr. Train. See, look at the stark difference between where I just was yep. with, in the mountains with all the snow and all this lovely lush greenery, all this lovely vegetation, got lovely flowers and trees. It is stunning, the graphics on this game, the realism and the level of detail that's been put into this world is astounding. You know, it's not a perfect game, but for all its flaws, all its dirty little secrets and nasty little tricks up its sleeves, it's fundamentally a, a, a fascinatingly beautiful game. So we are heading towards the uh, the trapper. We have got ourselves a legendary bison pelt, which we we'll, should be able to now uh, make ourselves a trinket and some bonus clothing items. I have a one other legendary animal kill. No, actually two legendary animal kills now. I got a legendary beaver, which was uh, interesting to say the least. And um, and the bear, obviously, you as default, you get you, you pretty much handed the bear on the plate. Um, and you get a really ugly hat. I have got the world's most ugliest hat. Uh, it's not here. It's I think it's at the base. It's pretty ugly. It's literally just a whole big bear head. Why are you always so far the way out over here? Let's sell. All right, let's have a look. What I have for you, my friend, is some pelts. Here we go. We got a perfect deer pelt. We got a good fox pelt. We got some poor wolf pelts. You can have all of those. And for the glorious, for the glory days, a legendary white bison pelt. A legendary white bison pelt can be sold in use of crafting. Yes, please. $32 for that one. That's... Once in a lifetime, eh? Yeah, that is a once in a lifetime item. It's a tasty item. So, we are done here. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. But let's see what we can, uh, what he can make for us now. We're done with the uh, selling. Let's get with the buying, right? Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Okay. So this is this is the hat. Look at that. It's not even a very attractive looking bear head. It's all scratched up. It's pretty ugly. Really ugly. Um, and then I got. I think it's right in here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You know what? I can't even remember if I actually even made anything from the beaver. I've got the beaver pelt. Oh, well, here we go. Legendary white bison hat. Legendary white bison coat. We can make those. And we've got enough for both of them, so we're going to do that. Spend it while you got it. And then, and then, oh, really, 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 really want to upgrade my, uh, my bags, if we can do that. So, look, reinforced equipment. Shoot a bandolier. 
Have I got any bandolies yet? I'm not sure I have. I don't think I have. Let's buy a bandolier. Weapons expert host holster. I think I've already got a better holster. Uh, I can't remember which one I bought, but I'm pretty sure it's a better one I got here. What I'm really looking for is just a bigger bag. I just don't think these guys, this guy here, does that type of stuff. That's what I've got. I've got master offhand holster. It's that. I've run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern... yeah, it says reinforced offhand holster reduced amount of maintenance requires, and then I've got a, a gator one. I see that one that my. Uh, my my main holster is kind of like got gator skin on it, um, and I've forgotten how I got that. I can't remember what it's called. It doesn't matter. We'll we'll come back to that later. Let's take a look at this bandolier. Reinforced bandolier increases ammo capacity for repeated rifles and shotguns. That's good. That's pretty cool. Okay then. So what are we going to do now? I don't really want to do this guy. Where was that other task I had? I can't remember now. Ooh, dear me. Right, okay, we'll do this. We'll do this guy here. Uh, Margaret. We're going to go and see if we can find a zebra. Look at this. I wonder what it would be like playing the whole game in first person. I'm sure it's pretty interesting. Different perspective on things anyway. Pretty sure. Something interesting going on over here? Okay, how do you, how, how, how do you get into fucking, sorry I'm not swearing, but just, there we go, oh my god. Jesus Christ. I don't know why I'm having so much difficulty with these controls. Right, okay, my horse did not like that. No, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, we'll... We'll get over this. Right, we're off. Here we go. Yeehaw. Look at this silly hat. It's awful. Right, okay. Let's go and see if we can find a zebra. Right, come on, good karma, good karma. Say hello. Hi. Hi there, mister. Hello. I'm being friendly, you see. It's not all about murdering and killing. Sometimes it's the little niceties. I'm a good person at heart, I promise you. Here we go. More more opportunity to be nice. Look. Hi. Hey hello. Hey. Alright, easy now. 
What the hell? Keep that up. See what happens. Hey, you there, wait. Jeez, what a rude yep. individual. Right. I I've got absolutely no dead eye. My core is pretty much dead. So I'm gonna need to rest up to sort that out. Or have I got any uh any items here that's gonna restore some of my dead eyes? Have a look. A little bit of cheese. Cheese is good. I've got to be close to where this zebra is now, surely. Not again. Where is... Where, where, where? Oh, it's, it's close. We're close now. I've seen men crack before. What's this guy going on about? No, don't don't keep putting. I keep putting my gun out. Hey there, Mister. That's a fine horse you got there. All right. Be well now. <laughs> the way he says that, he's like real creep, isn't he? He's real creepy. That's a real nice horse you got there. <laughs> yeah. It's like rubbing his legs as he's doing it. I like your horse. What a lovely little hovel you got here, sir. Good, <laughs> Please don't go around bloody waving your gun in people's faces, okay? Just go and see if you can find this uh, zebra. See if you can find a zebra for me. That'd be a kind sir. That looks like a zebra to me. But we're just going to have a little look in our looky glasses. Now, looky likey glasses. Oh, yeah, that be a fine looking zebra. A mule? It registered as a mule. That is not a mule by any standards. There's a bug for your game. Capture a calm zebra. They done to you? Oh, it's just, it is a mule. It's just painted. The guy's a con artist. I get it. I understand it now. There, I understand it. Come on, pat him, pat him, pat him, pat him. There we go. We didn't have to lasso him. I didn't want to have to be him. Poor thing's been painted for Christ's sake. I don't want to have to start throwing things at it. You're okay, boy. Come on then. Right, let's get me a little horsey. We need to take you back to the camp. Where's my horse? She's a Garmin. She's Garmin. She's Garmin. Right, where are we going? Way over here. Find me a quick route. Come on, girl. Right, we're going this way. Come on then. Come on. Yeah. Poor thing. I can't believe he's painted a poor little donkey. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Yep. There we go. Now he's got some speed on him. Good little donkey. Good little donkey. I remember in uh, Red Dead Online, in the first game, the, the very first animal you got was a mule. Uh, and that was, that was about as good as it got at the beginning. 
I love my mule. I had my mule for ages. I didn't want to swap it out for anything. <laughs> the music sound, it seems um it sounds quite appropriate. It's, it's a little bit silly. Oh, come on. Mule wants to cut me up a little bit. A little bit of a a needy mule. Yeah, we're we're not taking a drip path, we're just gonna go through the trees and stuff. We're gonna get there a lot quicker if we uh, stick away stay away from the uh, the roads and stuff. In fact, I think we're almost here. Right, here we go, sir. So you can have your uh, zebra back again. Yes, sir. Or madam. Alright, you weirdo. You found him. Yeah. Our zebra. Yeah. Uh, well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land. This guy's nuts. Here, this guy's just crazy. The polka or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps. Oh, this poor donkey. Can we not just shoot him and save the donkey? It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. <laughs> well, as long as... Hey. As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. <laughs> but, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. Oh, of course. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. <laughs> Down there on Caliga Way. Please... I hate to ask. I, I hate right. to find, think of what the uh, the tiger's going to be. Is it just like a couple of cats tied together? Right. Okay. Where to now, my friends? Where to now? Let's take a look at the map. Um, the map. Bum the map. Bum the map. Bum the map. Black Bell. Should we go and see if we can find Black Bell? Do a bit of exploring. Not being over here. Could be a little bit of fun. Here we go. How my cause? My cause. Oh, that dead eye car. Really friggin' awful. What other foods have we got that I can eat that can uh, bring it back up again? Do a look. A little bit of corn. Nice. Yeah, that'll do. Yep. Right, I have got a, uh, a challenge. If I can get this up. No, no, please stop doing that. Just one. To, come on! Well, I didn't kill him. I think I was supposed to kill him. So that didn't work out too well for me. Let's go and investigate over here. Oh, well, did we see some alligators or something then? Says that me, uh, me little horse is a little bit agitated. Calm her down. Come on. Hold up. Now, easy there. Now, shh, shh, shh. My, oh, my dead eye is just gone again. Seriously, go so quickly. Right, what have we got in here? 
Hello. I'm just a knocking. Well, no one's here. I'm just gonna help myself to these busy visions. What's in the wardrobe? Some herbivore bait. Nice. That's what I always keep my herbivore bait. Search the sink. Canned vegetables. Mmm, mm, yummy. What else we got here? Kentucky bourbon. Got too much of that. Can't take any more. What else? This is like a little bit of a... A little bit of swampland? I don't much like it. No siree. We have got some plants over here there, look. Got some berries of some sort. Okay, what's this then? Let's have a look. Health core. Hey, and predator bait. Nice. Well, we are going to have to go back for this water, but we're just going to try our best to avoid any crocodiles. Yeah, I think there was an alligator there. There was a friggin' alligator. I think I was so close to being alligator. Alligator. Alligator bait. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's not get tempted by any more lights. Let's just get to the, the job at hand. Um, okay, uh, we are... Where the hell are we? What the hell are we thinking? Right, we need to... Yeah, we're going to have to take the, the bridge. We're going to have to stick to the roads. My plan of just skipping all that palaver didn't quite work out as I planned. Right, I really need to get my core back up again. Let's just get it right up. Okay, now hopefully that's going to regenerate now. Albeit very slowly. Okay, let's find ourselves a gunslinger. Oh, this over here is grim. Look at it. It is so grim. This is not a fun part of town. No siree. Right, okay, let's uh, just... Uh... I want to tie up my horse somewhere, come on. Get back on. I don't want anybody stealing it. So it's just, uh, if I need to, just on the ground here. That will do nicely. Right, okay. Anybody home? Okay, so my core's up, but it's just not going up. Uh, it's not, the outer ring's not building, so we're going to have to do that. Not quite the effect I was looking for. I really need to get that up. Oh well, that will have to do. That's only a temporary boost. Okay, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. You a bounty hunter? No. All right, now I. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. 
Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Yeah. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, oh no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerine. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Oh, yes, yes we do. I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Wow, okay. Black Bell. This is going to be interesting. I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. Please don't blow up my horse. Sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Count. Oh, come on. Stop just there. <laughs> okay, rifle time. Over here, they're rushing us from the side. What side? Okay. Okay, we need to restock that thing. God, come on. And we got one more over here. Where's he gone? There he is. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Oh. Let's get this guy down. Oh, right in the face. Look at that mean look. That was one mean. One mean face. Right, come on. What we need is to get that back up again. Come on, you can do this, you can do this. There's a guy over here, and one over here. Is that it? We are done! <laughs> That was yeah. fun. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh... Don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared that for our goddamn hat. Talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm, same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, I am an amateur photographer after all, right? Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here, 
I thought something bad was going to happen then. It just took a bit of a dark turn for some reason. Been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Good luck. <laughs> right, okie dokie, my friends. Let's uh, loot some bodies. There's some good looting going on over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to check the house first of all. For any weapons. Because sometimes there's some cool weapons. There's a card, for one thing. Look at this, look. Yeah, we'll just put that away. Search under the sink. Ooh, coffee. Nice. What else we got here? Search in the cabinet. Solid biscuits. Delicious. Oh, and look, there's a, a big chest over here. I'm sure there'll be something nice in here. Canned vegetables, great. Delicious. Right, uh, have I got everything? Have I cleared it? Yeah, there's stuff left behind. I can't, can't carry any more of that stuff. That stuff's all gonna have to just stay put. Right, we've got a lot of bodies to check. I'm surprised that there's no uh, no lawman heading this way right now. Nice, 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 nice. A little bit dark, really, isn't it? Looting all these bodies. But it's a good source of a lot of cool stuff, which I can sell later on and make a fair bit of chump change out of it. Really ugly countryside, this here, though. Really ugly. Okay, one more. And there we are. We're all done now. Uh, is there anything under here? Well, nothing's showing up. Well, that was a little bit of fun. Well, I think I'm going to call it quits here for today. Uh, I'm going to try again with the online tomorrow. So do come back again. And uh, we'll see if we... Uh, have any better luck with the online game that's what i was really hoping to show you guys was online uh just not quite happened for us today we were denied but uh we'll see how things go tomorrow but uh oh well, look at this guy he needs some help uh but that's all we've got time for today uh and uh we'll see you tomorrow ta-ta